All right, what you can see here, and I'm gonna kind of point this out with my fingers. You see that right here, off this main branch coming out, there's a stem coming up that is brown. Then here you have one coming up that's green on a tomato plant. Now these tomato plants in this bed, every one of them is that way. You can see there's a stem coming up and then it goes away. And then you got this one coming over to the side, which is a branch. This one here, the exact same way. You've got a stem coming up that's dead at the top. And then you've got one coming over here to the side that's getting blooms on it already. Kind of the same way to the second one I showed you. There's blooms there. There's blooms there with a tomato. Down here you can see again the stem. The first one I showed you also has blooms on it. Now what these tomatoes are, all the tomatoes that are in this bed are ones that got hit by that late May frost. They died back nearly all the way to the ground, all but a couple of inches, but they regenerated themselves because I planted these about 12 inches deep. And it's extremely important, especially if you get a frost. Now, I, like everybody else, panicked and planted another bed of tomatoes, which I normally do anyways. But these were after that frost, and these bloomed out a little bit quicker, and they have more tomatoes on them. But all the tomatoes that were hurt or damaged by the frost are going to bloom and produce tomatoes. They're just, you know, they got their growth stunted. You can see it very clearly in some of these other ones that I don't have caged yet because they just wasn't tall enough. So here's what got killed off by the frost. Here's what regenerated itself from the deep roots that I planted. And it's about two foot tall. This one here is the same way. You can see right here, this is what got killed off by the frost. This is what regenerated itself. Also about two foot tall. And that's pretty much the way that all of the tomatoes in this bed are. You can see this one here, plain as day. There's what got killed off by the frost. That's what regenerated. And all the tomatoes in this bed were killed off by frost, but they weren't actually killed. And that's kind of the point that I'm trying to make. As long as you plant the tomatoes deep enough, they'll regenerate themselves. Now what I've got here is some dracon radishes I'm letting grow and then I'll let them rot in the ground. There's a lot of like, I haven't had a chance to really get out here and weed yet. There's some marigolds in here that were like donor marigolds from previous years. Pretty much all my beds have donor marigolds in it. And right there's another one. But I just wanted to show you that as long as you plant your tomato plants deep enough, even if they get killed off by frost, they generally always come back. They bloom a little later. They might not be as vigorous, but they will still produce. And that's kind of the point that I wanted to make in this video. And since I've made it, we'll go ahead and call this quits. Now, actually, let me say this before I stop this video. When I plant tomatoes, let's say that I've got a plant that is this tall, as tall as this one here. When I go to plant it in the garden, I'm going to plant it all the way up to these top of leaves in the ground. So that's, that's what I do every time. That's what I did with these over here. That's what I did with these over here. And that getting them deep in the ground is what is crucial. If the plants are only eight inches tall, let's say that, let's say that you started your plants indoors or you bought them from a store and they're up to this first fork right here instead of leaves. I'm going to plant it up to this first fork right here where these leaves are at. I'm going to plant it that deep in the ground. And I've said this before, but let me show you. Hopefully the video will pull this in. I can get it to focus. I just had it there and lost it.
what I'm actually looking for is to show you like all of these hairs that are on this stem will all turn into roots. Matter of fact, if it wasn't for these cages and these tomatoes fell over, they would all attach themselves to the ground right here where my finger's at. All these little hairs on these stems will turn into roots and it'll just anchor itself and start growing from each one of those hairs. So that's what's important. As long as you got these little fine hairs on the side of your stems, you can plant them that deep in the ground and they'll be fine. And now that that is the last thing I wanted to say. So now you know how I do my tomato plants. Now you know why I wasn't panicking like everybody else when that frost hit in May in Zone 6B, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. Um, and that, that's just how it goes.